hope you take advantage. Whatever. Well, this is a big launch here at HSN. In fact, this dual fuel electric start generator is only available here at HSN and on the Furman website. And if you don't know about Furman, this is a company that is world renowned for their excellence, for their customer satisfaction. Did you know they have a half percent return rate? They have customer service in three different languages and they really hold your hand if you're like me and you've never used one of these before. Why do we love this one? It is that perfect mix of power and portability. Remember that it's only 90 pounds. It's coming your way on free shipping and handling. And this is yes, for when the power outages happen, when you cannot access that electric grid and all of a sudden you're sitting there in the dark and the fridge is out and there's no AC and you don't have backup for your medical devices. Yes, it's gonna be for that. But also think about this, all your smaller devices. Also think about tailgating, football season's right around the corner, RVing, camping. Did you know that because this is a dual fuel generator, it is quieter, it is cleaner than most standard generators. In fact, generators, we know, I even know, this is why I don't own one. They're messy, they're really loud. You have to maintain them. You can't put them away until you burn all the fuel out of them, right? And you don't wanna be storing that gas in your home. Well, this is dual fuel. It means, yes, it runs on propane, and most of us have propane tanks in our house already. Maybe you've got a grill outside. This is safer, uh, burns cleaner. Uh, the propane doesn't go bad, so people People feel comfortable storing this and then when life happens and it gets really serious uh, you can run it on fuel as well it takes 1.8 gallons of fuel and with that 1.8 will run nine gallon uh, nine hours on a 20% load 14 hours on propane so really and when those run out you don't have to stop and recharge like electric battery generators. Uh, you're gonna be able to go ahead and just change out a propane tank or just put a little bit more fuel in there. But it's nice to have both options because when there is an emergency, there is no gas. The, the gas stations are, you know, empty uh, or they don't have electricity to be pumping the gas to give to you, right? So everybody loves this option. Of course, I do have to say, you know that with the generator, you will never, ever, ever promise me run this inside your home. And that means not in the basement, not in the garage. This always has to be outdoors, well ventilated, and of course, at least 20 feet away from your home and your loved ones. So promise me you've got that because maybe you're new like me. We're doing something really special today. Nowhere else will you find this model only here and on, on their website. We're $9.99 and 95 cents. That's $300 off the price that Furman offers and $200 off our HSN price. We're gonna help you because we want you, we take pride in our emergency preparedness and our great inventory and all of our products. Uh, you can choose either five flex pay on a regular credit card. That is basically less than $7 a day for the next five months on your favorite credit card. If you're choosing VIP financing, we'll give you a year and a half to pay this off because we really believe that with everything you're seeing in the news, with all the power outages, planned power outages, um, this is something every home in America, if your condo, if your HOA allows it, if you have that yard, if you have the space to run it perfectly outside, um, 18 months to pay it off makes it really doable. That means you'd be paying $55.55 a month. That is less than $2 a day for the next year and a half for that peace of mind. You're gonna feel so good because you've got this. And let me tell you something, when the power goes out and you're sitting there, even if you think it's coming back right away, what happens, right? The power goes out and you're standing there in the dark and you go into a panic, you know the food in the fridge, it's like a ticking time bomb, right? So let's go to that fridge. Wouldn't it be nice to know that your Furman can run and now your food is safe and the fridge is still powered on? Wouldn't it be nice to know that this has enough power to run a portable AC? That this has enough power to power your medical devices? That could be a life or death situation. And watch this, because we're following the cable. Remember, this is never to be run indoors. This is not to be run in the basement, not to be run um, in, in the garage. This always has to be indoors and, um, 
even here on our outdoor little patio, it's still a little too close. We would never put it this close to our window and our door. So just FYI. But think about that. Portable enough that you can use it for fun and play as well. Portable enough that if you're a contractor, this is supposed to fit in either the RV or in the back of your truck. Um, it really is such a smart thing to own and to have. And we do hope that you stick around. We do have a very long, uh, an entire hour presentation for you to really get to know this product because it's fascinating. And I want to remind you, Furman is a brand that's been in the United States for about seven years, but worldwide, they are one of the top manufacturers for almost two or over two decades now with excellent customer service. Remember too, they do their own quality and, and research. And so essentially they do all the testing half percent return rate. That is huge. We're going to brag about that all night. And we've got a very special guest to tell us all about it and give us that complete tour because you're going to be fascinated by this machine. It's such versatility. Jason Sutton is one of the founding members of Furman. He is also the VP of customer education. He's our brand expert. And Jason, I know you got to be outside because you could run it outside. We have rainy days, the heat index is super high, so we can't turn it on indoors. But because this is really fascinating. We've never done anything like this. This is only available here at HSN, and then of course on your website, and we've got a one day opportunity. So 810060 is our finest value of the day for whatever life or mother nature throws at you, whether it's fun or an emergency situation. Hey there, thanks for having me. Uh, really nice to get to be here and talk to you guys today. Uh, we're really, really proud of this generator and uh, excited to have the opportunity to share it uh, with, uh, with everybody at HSN. Uh, it is an HSN exclusive. Uh, and uh, you know, we think you know, the, the people have power outages so much on their minds nowadays uh, with uh, hurricane season you know, upon us right now and planned power outages out in California and ice storms that we've had across the Midwest over the last year or so, uh, and, and even down in Texas. Uh, so it really is something that uh, you know, I think people have on their minds. And uh, having a generator at the ready uh, when, when the time comes is, is really uh, the best way to be prepared about also we're seeing on the news every single day jason i mean from the flooding and our hearts go out to our fellow americans um this would be able to help you with your sump pump and this would be able to help you with your well pump i mean and this is right. so so versatile and so easy to use unlike regular generators that uh, quite frankly I i'm going to be honest with you i've been terrified to use jason this is a <laughs> one button start so that electric start really makes all the difference and so quiet. It's uh, maybe your vacuum cleaner, believe it or not, is louder. Uh, you can use this in the yeah. state parks as well. Most generators you would not be able to use in a state park. This one you could use in a state park. I mean, this is what this hour is going to be about. We're going to introduce you to this amazing machine because it's really unlike anything. And by the way, power to run the portable AC for hours, which really is, you know, a relief in and of <laughs> itself. We need those creature comforts, Jason. Yeah, the, you know, the creature comforts are so important. I mean, everybody immediately thinks in a power outage about uh, the absolute necessities, you know. So we're talking about keeping all the food in your refrigerator from spoiling, or you might have a, a freezer in the garage and you want to keep all that uh, food from spoiling. Um, maybe you, you've got a, a hunter in your family and, and, you know, boy, they invested so much time and energy into, uh, into you know, filling the, the freezer full of meat. Or maybe you just have a big family and, and you've, you've got, you know, you're, you're shopping and you're filling up your refrigerator and your freezer. And when the power outage comes, uh, boy, the last thing you want to do is, is be able to is have to lose all that food. But the creature comforts are equally important. You know, if you're uh, if you're somewhere that's hot, uh, well, like you guys are right now down in Tampa, uh, we've come up to Flagstaff, Arizona, so we could be outside and be pretty comfortable. But uh, where I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, you know, so far power goes out. Uh, creature comforts are pretty important. Uh, having that portable air conditioner to keep you comfortable or uh, if it's so winter and, and you're in the middle of a, a snowstorm or an ice storm, uh, having a, a portable heater to be able to keep you comfortable uh, can be you know, a really big game changer. So let's talk about um, that whole motherboard there because it's super, super easy. <laughs> and in my training, I even told Jason, I said, hey, Jason, I would typically be very afraid of these things. This is doable. I can <laughs> understand this board, right? Pretty easy. Would you walk us through that? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so we've we've put all of the important controls right here on the front of the machine. Um, so right here on the front of the generator, we have all the controls for starting, for stopping, all the power outlets are here. Uh, everything you need is right here on, on the front of the of the front front of the inverter generator. Um, and I think you know you mentioned that how quiet this is. So this is different than your typical generator. Uh, most people are when they think about generators, think about that that kind of dirty, oily, greasy machine, and it's got this big metal frame, and it's probably really heavy, and it's probably really noisy. And this is none of those things. Uh, so mm -hmm. with this inverter generator, you're getting all of the power that you're going to need. You're going to be able to power your refrigerator and your freezer, and you're going to be able to power your uh, air conditioner or your heater and charge your cell phones and keep lights on and even a microwave and oh a television gosh, and yes. uh, a lot of power, uh, but in a very compact package um, and really super easy to use. Um, this one is dual fuel, uh, but right here on the front of the generator, we've got a fuel control knob that is gonna be able to switch us between gasoline and propane. Right. So we can just uh, choose the fuel source that we wanna use. And then a, a choke lever, and a starter button. Uh, and I'd be happy to start it. I, I am outside if we want to be able to do that. Well, let's let's run through that little still that we had because we kind of like powered through it. And I think this is really important. So let's say if we were oh, sure. using, and this, this takes less than two gallons of gas, but take a look at some of these common runtime scenarios. And Jason, maybe you can walk us through this. That's great, yeah. Um, so uh, on gasoline, uh, we're gonna get nine hours of runtime, uh, and that's at 25% load. So a good example of that would be if we're running a refrigerator um, and, uh, and, and maybe we're, uh, you know, a, a refrigerator and some lights or a refrigerator and, uh, and, uh, and a TV, or maybe in this case, we've got the refrigerator and we've got some portable devices. We're charging our cell phones, uh, we're charging our tablets and maybe our, our portable computers. Um, we're going to be able to run those things for uh, nine hours on just 1.8 gallons of gas. Oh my so gosh, right? this is a very, and, very fuel efficient machine. Right. And, and the thing is, too, is like, you know, when the, the problems happen, the first thing that's depleted at the gas stations is the gas. And if they don't have electricity, they can't even give you or pump the gas for you. Now, when we switch over to propane and Jason, you were the first to tell me, Les, you're always going to try to run it on propane. <laughs> it's easier to store the propane tank. Tanks. It runs uh, sure. cleaner. Um, th that propane, uh, you know, doesn't have that fast expiration date. Um, and see that on the propane, Jason, we were amazed. 14 to 15 hours on one 20-pound propane tank. It's really incredible. Yeah, running on propane is is just so much easier. You know, that when you're you're not having to pour gasoline in, into the gas tank. Uh, you know, connecting a, a propane tank is really simple. Uh, it's clean. You know, so. You're not going to worry about getting gasoline on your hands or having the smell of gasoline. Um, and then one of the wonderful things about propane is that it really stores kind of indefinitely. Uh, so anybody that has a barbecue in their yard probably already has some uh, one or two or more propane tanks. Um, so it's easy to keep on hand. Uh, you would never probably consider storing 50 or 100 gallons of gasoline at your home, and right. you shouldn't. Uh, but you can easily store four or five propane tanks and have a lot of runtime available to you when the time comes. You know, so 14 at running your refrigerator and charging all your portable devices for 14 hours on one 20 pound propane tank is great. Uh, and like you said, in a power outage, you know, a lot of times the, the gas stations, there's runs on the gas stations. And so the gas stations run out of fuel really quickly uh, or they may not have power and they can't power their, their fuel pumps right, and their cash right. registers. So yeah, they may not even be things. selling gasoline. And this is, we've seen this, we've watched this happen. We've, you've probably lived it. I know here in Florida, we yeah. live it every single year during hurricane season. Sure. We thought this was the perfect day to bring one of the number one brands in the world uh, here to HSN. First time we've ever done a dual fuel electric uh, start generator at HSN. We've never done it before. We've got a one day only price and quite limited on these as well. Don't have the thousands and thousands we, we wish we had, but typically on the website, it goes for $1,300. 
Here at HSN, it goes for $1,200. So we're already $200 off the HSN price, $300 off uh, the Furman website. Remember, five months to pay it off on any standard credit card that's less than $7 a day for the next five months. And if you are doing VIP financing, you get a year and a half to pay it off. That's less than $2 a day for the next 18 months on your HSN credit card. And you own this. And there's like none of that crazy maintenance. It is never you know that messy you know pull crank scary generator that I never wanted to have in fact I have one of our electric style generators and there's a time and a place for that but I mean here alone in this studio and, and we don't have it running right this is this is done for tv purposes but we've got our portable ac plugged in if you had an electric style generator and you've got your portable AC plugged in, a lot of the electric style generators can't handle that. And if they do, it's what, Jason, like two hours, three hours? Um, this has enough power for that. And the small appliances, we've got um, a grill plugged into that. I mean, this is <laughs> real power and dual fuel. So you always have that versatility. You always have the option to go back and forth. Free shipping and handling for a 90 pound dual fuel generator. That's a big deal. This is all one day only value. I wanna show you a great little video we put together Stephanie Summers is uh, one of our brand experts for Furman, and she's standing by, or it's a little tape that we've got ready for you. And then I'm gonna go back to the other studio so that Jason can give us the tour of the little um, uh, panel there. But so easy, one day only value, big launch here as we squeeze in the last days of summer, but also get ready for winter storms and tailgating and outdooring and all that great stuff. Here's Stephanie. I'm Stephanie Summers with Furman Generators. What I love about the Furman Dual Fuel 3200 generator is the ease of use. You can fire up the Furman with just the push of a button. It runs on both gas and propane. Your gas is nine hours of runtime. Your propane, you're looking at 14 hours of runtime. But you can fire this up in just the push of a button. I love the way and how easy it is to start this. You can start it with your pull start, which is your recoil, or like I said, this electric start button. We're using propane, so we're just gonna make sure the selector is on propane gas. We're gonna make sure our choke is out. I'm gonna select this battery recharge button for three seconds. One, two, three. Hit my electric start button. Push in my choke. And the Furman is fired up. We're gonna use our extension cord to plug in our light to show you how easy it is to power this up. And you're gonna plug into your 120 volt outlet, your 120 volt amp. Just like that, I have power. It's so easy, just the start of a button, you can fire it up and then just plug in. It's just like your wall outlets at home right here. And instantly we have power, pretty cool. Furman has taken a few extra steps of safety. If you do forget to turn off your propane tank, sometimes that happens, Furman has built in an automatic safety switch to the regulator here. So if you forget to turn that off, Furman is taking care of that for you. It's automatically gonna shut that off for you. It is simple to use. It's what I really love about the side panel here is every button is labeled. So if you kind of forget your steps, maybe you put it away and haven't used it in a while and uh, just kind of need a refresh, everything you see here is gonna be labeled to exactly what it is. They've pretty much plastered a map on the Furman Dual Fuel 3200 for you. They've made it so simple, both visually with text, waterproof instructions to walk you through the process. Very easy. You see, now that's a generator that I can get behind, Jason, because it is easy. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, generators are easy, and then they're really not, and they're messy, and they're loud, and they're gross and dirty. <laughs> this is another experience, and always the Furman name is on the top list all the time. They're known as one of the gold standard companies. What a treat today. I want to tell you there's a couple of little items that you could add to your purchase today, but we're so limited. I want to get it all out of the way early. Um, we've got this great little vinyl cover. So when it's not in use or when you're taking it around with you, uh, maybe you're an RVer, maybe you know, you, you're a contractor, you put this on the back of your truck. It is a cover and um, Kevin, you said we're very limited for the day. 
300 for the day. Okay, that is all we have. If you want that, it's $29.99, and we do have flex pay, which means $10 gets it home, but very, very limited. And then I was pretty fascinated by this because I want to show you, and, and I even, I, I'm, I called Jason, and I was like, Jason, I've never seen anything like this. I'm just going to unplug this. Um, take a look here because we're very limited on these as well. And you see this extension cord? Each one of these heads has its own circuit breaker, which is really cool because when you're running your power through your Furman, and let's say, I don't know, you, you know, the electricity breaks or, you know, you get a little outage, um, it won't cut off the power to your medical device or maybe the portable fan you've got going or, you know, other items. It will, each one has its individual circuit breaker. So very limited on those as well. 250 of those for the day, and it's your first Furman 25 foot 10 gauge power cord. So really great quality. So if you're even remotely interested in those, definitely consider it. Remember Furman is one of those top brands, 20 years around the world manufacturing these amazing generators. They are known for their customer service, which by the way, seven days a week, three languages. So whether you speak English or Spanish or French, uh, they will always be there to hold your hand and take you through. Cause maybe you're like me and you're a beginner. But Jason, I wanna talk about the panel because it's not scary to me. And that's a big deal because I've, I've never even <laughs> wanted to like attempt to learn what a generator does. Um, this seems pretty easy. It's not out of control. Yeah, there are a lot of features here. Um, so um, we'll, on, the, on the output side of the panel, um, we've got a 30 amp outlet. So the cord that you just talked about, uh, that's, that cord is gonna plug into this 30 amp outlet. And the reason for that cord is it's gonna bring the most amount of power uh, right to right where you need it. Um, so each one of those outlets at the end of that cord is a, has a separate circuit breaker. They are 15 amps on, e on each outlet. Uh, that plugs into this 30 amp outlet. Also, a an RV or a camper for those of you with those kind of mm -hmm. those kind of toys will plug right into that without the need for an adapter. And then your standard household outlets are right below that. Uh, each one of those is 120 volts, and it's the same kind of outlet you would find it, it, everywhere in your home. Uh, so a couple of 120 volt outlets there. Um, and then above that, right below that little red switch is a USB port. Right, so, right here. So you, know, you can plug in your phones or your tablets directly into that into the generator right under that, right there, there you go. And you're noticing probably that we've got covers over every single so outlet smart, on this right? generator. Mm -hmm. The reason we do that is we never encourage anybody to run their generator in the rain. Um, but as I sit here, it's starting to sprinkle. Um, and <laughs> so, we, we know that you might be running your generator uh, in a storm situation in the backyard safely away from your home and it might rain in the middle of the night while it's running. So we wanna just offer every kind of protection we can by covering all those outlets. Um, we've got a couple of parallel ports. Uh, they're just above the household outlet, mm -hmm. these two little guys here. Um, those actually let you connect up to two of any Furman inverter you see that? generators. Right there. You see, and everything is like, it's like a little map. There's pictures of everything. So it's not, you see, this has the <laughs> yeah. USB symbol, right? This has your little power, right? Uh, you know, you've got all of your little pictures and diagrams for people like me that are like, what? Hold on, wait a second. Um, uh, right up here, this is where you switch, right? From propane to gas. And That's obviously, right. you won't be running both of those at once. You got to choose either right. or. And Jason, you had told me that before I, Let's say if I'm running on propane and I want to switch to gas, I got to turn it off and then do the right. switch with this um, guy right here, nice and easy. Uh, and then and then you, you get to choose. But, you know, normally you don't get that choice. So we love this because we think it's that perfect mix of versatility uh, and power mm -hmm. and portability. I love that unlike regular generators, you know, when you're going to put those away, you better make sure it's... Uh, uh, fuel free, like you've burned out all the fuel. Sure. You know, you, you got to maintain that. Um, this is as easy as it gets, right, Jason? Absolutely. R running on propane, uh, there's so much versatility. One of the neat things about this generator is that you could have it full of gasoline if you wanted to do that and have 1.8 gallons of gas, getting that 14 hours of run or getting that nine hours of runtime on gas, but also have a propane tank so that you're, you, so between the two of them, you've got 23 hours of runtime. So 14 hours on that propane tank, nine hours on that gas, on that, that fuel tank, or you could simply just run it on propane. Running it on propane, what, what you were just referring to is so true that it runs so clean 
when it's time done using the generator and it's time to put it away, you don't have to worry about leaving fuel in it. Like if you've ever, uh, you know, any any gas powered items, if you if you run them and you and you leave fuel in the carburetor and you go put it away in your garage for six months, you might have trouble starting it when you take it out. But running on propane, that's not an issue at all. So you can disconnect the propane, put the generator away and just know for sure that it's gonna start right up the next time you take it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is so much versatility really to running on propane. Mm -hmm. And we're so excited about this because we've never really done this before. And so the fact that we've got that versatility that I have, you know, right now as we speak, I have four propane tanks in my house because of the outdoor <laughs> grills. Because yeah. heaven knows I, know I love to grill and I love to eat. So most people already have those already and can safely mm -hmm. store those. Um, I love that you, you need a minimal amount of gas to run this as well, 1.8 gallons, uh, so less than mm -hmm. two gallons of gas, uh, and you'll probably never use that. And Jason, maybe you remember what I said to you in the training. I said, "So when do I use the propane, and when do I use the gas?" <laughs> and he's like, "Well, you're probably always going to run it on the propane because it's easier to store. Most people feel really comfortable with that; burns cleaner." Yeah. Um, and then I said, "And the gas is when." Stuff hits the fan, right? It, like when you really need right. some craziness. Yeah. If you absolutely have to, <laughs> if you absolutely have to. Yeah, I totally recommend that. You know, that every, you know, whenever you possibly can, it's easier, it's cleaner, just run it on propane, um, you know, and if you absolutely had to, you could run it on gas, but, uh, but you really never need to. Um, right. It's making plenty of power running on propane. It's gonna run cleaner. It actually, it, you know, we're still gonna run it outside, of course, but it actually smells different when it runs on propane. It, it doesn't put out the same amount of odor. And this generator is so quiet, you know, so, you know, when, you know, you mentioned before, you know, we, you know, it's only 58 decibels. So an open frame, normal kind of standard generator, that, that louder one that you'd expect, those run about 67 decibels. So they're going to be about like a vacuum cleaner. This one is so quiet, you know, it could be running in your backyard and you're not going to hear it in the house. And importantly, your neighbors aren't going to hear it either. Um, you can run it in a national park. So if you're camping in Yellowstone or Yosemite, I'm that, I'm that camper. We, um, I, with my family, we can't. We have a camper and we camp all the time. And if you're camping in a national park, you have to be less than 60 decibels with generators. Ooh, and you made and this it. one is. This is 58 decibels. So if you're if you're in the campground and you're running your camper with this, you're not going to irritate anybody around you. It's no one's so even going to know it's running. I want to remind you uh, because we do hear about that all the time. Uh, people that maybe aren't running it properly or have run it in the garage or have run it, you know, in the basement, um, and be, and. Yeah. There have been serious consequences to that. You're never, ever, ever going to run this inside. So maybe you've got an electric, you know, power station. Maybe you've got an EcoFlow already at your house, and, and there's a time and a place for that. And that one you can run inside, no problem. But there's a reason these are on the market. There's a reason most people choose to use either standard generators or this inverter-style generator. And, and this will always be run outside. So nope, it can't go in the basement. Nope, it cannot go in the garage ever. Ever, ever. Uh, it has to be well ventilated and at least minimum 20 feet away from your home. And, and here's the thing too, you know, um, Furman is always one of those top brands and you can do that research yourself. They are known for their customer satisfaction. And Jason, you were talking to me about uh, the research and development because also quality mm -hmm. assurance, you guys do all of that. And Jason was saying, Les, we run these things hours and hours and hours on end without turning them off. We basically yeah. put them through those life, real life situations that our customers would, that same experience our customers would live with it and they do it on purpose because they want to make sure your Furman never lets you down. Yeah, one of the things that really makes Furman different than our competitors is that we're truly a manufacturer. So we, all, all of our engineering, all of our research and development and our manufacturing is all done in our factories. Um, you know, and so the reason that makes a big difference is that we really control our quality so much better, we think, than our competitors. A good example of that is that we, we torture test our generators when we're developing new products, including this one. So we go through 500 hours of what we call life cycle testing. Mm. So that means that we connect a, a fuel source right to the carburetor, we start it and we run it and we let it run for 500 hours without turning it off. Uh, we're really kind of, kind of trying to recreate what might happen in 10 years of use. You know, what's gonna happen when somebody's had this and they've used it a lot, and we just make sure that before we ever put a product out to the public that we've torture tested it, we've, we've knocked out any, any problems that uh, you know, popped up and, mm -hmm. and made, made sure that we engineer out any issues. And like you said, that's really 
I mean, that, that's resulted in a total defective and return rate that's less than half a percent, that's which for crazy. outdoor power equipment is, is really a huge achievement. Right, and we're gonna brag about that all day long. We're so proud to have <laughs> Furman here at HSN. Remember, uh, here in the United States, maybe you've only known them for about seven years, but they've been one of the world's leaders in manufacturers and exporters of generators uh, for two decades. Uh, very low return rate, unbelievable customer satisfaction and quality assurance. Uh, customer satisfaction seven days a week in three different languages. So there will always be a firm and expert to guide you if you've never used one of these before. But wheels, a little handle, so you this is meant to be taken with you. You're not gonna take one of those, you know, uh, regular generators with you, those messy, heavy generators. That's not gonna happen. But this one, you will be able to take with you. And think about those moments when the power goes out. And you're sitting there and you don't know when it's gonna come back. And the power's out and you call your electric company, it's gone and they're like, oh, your power will be restored in eight hours, 10 hours. And they can't even guarantee that. Well, now with your Furman dual, dual fuel uh, inverter cell generator, hey, now my fridge is gonna run for hours on end and the $200, $300 I spent on groceries, um, that's not gonna spoil. Did you know that the FDA actually says that after four hours, your perishable foods have to be thrown away? After just four right. hours of no power, I had no idea. Follow the cable because this will always live outside or you will store it when it's not in use. But when you need to run your, your Furman, remember it could be your propane tank that you've already got at home. Maybe you've got a couple of those stored at home. Um, it always runs outside. This, in fact, is too close to the door, too close to the home. It would have to be at least 20 feet, right, Jason? That's right. Yeah, it, really, safety is number one. And yeah, so you always want to run your generator at least 20 feet away from any dwelling. Uh, so not in a basement, not in a garage, even if you have the garage door open, uh, in no enclosed space and, and at least 20 feet away from a dwelling. There you go. And, and remember that, because it's got the handle and because it's got the wheels, well, hey, you're not just gonna use it in emergencies. Um, we keep reading about these emergencies. You know, uh, our, our, our friends, our fellow Americans are still dealing with floods and catastrophic events and hurricanes. We, here in Florida, we get them every single year. Uh, think about the winter storms that are still coming, right? Think about all of the things we want you to be ready for, and HSN takes Big pride in knowing that we always have your emergency preparedness items. When that electric grid is not available to you, you and your family will be so happy you pick this up. You will have that backup to your medical devices. You will have that backup that's powering your fridge now so now your groceries don't spoil. You will be able to power a portable AC. You will be able to power heavy duty items that most generators, especially electric ones, just can't handle for hours and hours. And what if the storm persists and you can't right. are you going to go outside and charge your electric generator on the car <laughs> you can uh, but that's going to take a while what if there's really not a lot of sun and it's just trickling in and recharging your electric power that's why we say there's a time and a place for that one and that one will get you through all those emergencies but a lot of people like to add uh, a dual fuel or a standard generator to the mix as well so that you're completely covered and Jason, you said enough power for the sump, uh, pump, enough power for the well pump. I can um, tie this into my fuse box as well, right? Into my home's fuse, fuse box? That's right, yeah. I, you know, years ago, uh, I, I was one of those people that had a basement flood. Uh, you know, it had been pouring rain and we were sound asleep and woke up in the middle of the night and went down to the basement and we had two or three inches of water in our basement because the power had gone out and that sump pump wasn't running and our basement flooded. You know, mm -hmm. so if you're one of those people that have a basement and you, you've got a sump pump, you know, it's critical that you can run, run that in a power outage. Uh, or if you live somewhere where you have, you're on well water, uh, you, boy, you, you really need to be able to run that well pump. And, and this generator is capable of doing that and more. Um, you, know, the, you know, the other, th you know, in a power outage, you know, that really having a battery uh, backup system is wonderful. And this is really a complimentary product to, mm -hmm. to devices like that. 
Uh, you know, so maybe you're running your, your generator, you're running your Furman generator all day outside, uh, and you're running your refrigerator, and you're keeping an air conditioner or a heater on, and at the same time, you can be charging up your battery storage system, if you may, if, maybe if you own one of those already. Right. Uh, and then maybe you're running your devices through the night on your battery storage system. There's right. lots of different ways that you can use those products in a complementary mm -hmm. way. Uh, but boy, if the if the power out is out for you know days or weeks even uh -huh. like we've seen here in the last couple of years, uh, a generator really is the only way that you're going to be able to get through a power outage of any, any length of time like that. I know, and that and that's the thing. Like you know, a lot of people thank goodness maybe maybe you haven't lived a power outage that's a week or a month or something like in our minds, we feel like, oh, it's not gonna happen. But then you turn on the news mm -hmm. and you see it happening to our fellow brothers and sisters, our fellow Americans. Yeah. And my goodness, I mean, your heart breaks and you can only imagine how desperate they feel. And all you wanna do is like try to help in any way you can. Well, you can be proactive for your family. We're gonna help you get that in your hands. Mm -hmm. We're gonna help you get one home. And the way we do it is flex pay. The way we do it is VIP financing. And we work with Furman to give us that great one day only price. So this is our best value of the day. I only have about 900 now to go around. If you want this, very limited for a today's special. We've never done anything like this. We only have 900 to go around. Remember that we've got five monthly payments. Uh, you can break this down and use any credit card you like to use. You like to use your debit card, your credit card, your Apple Pay, PayPal. Uh, you can pay it off at $199.99 a month. That's all you have to pay tonight. We send it out to you on that first credit card flex pay and you have another four months to pay it off. If you wanna use your HSN card or your Q card or Zulily card, you get a year and a half to pay it off. Now it becomes less than $2 a day for the next 18 months. That means every month it's $55.55 on your HSN credit card. And in a year and a half, you've paid this off completely and you will use this I mean, over and over and over again, whether it's emergency situations or fun and play, uh, but take advantage. One day only price, $300 off the Furman price, $200 off our HSN price. That price or while supplies last, it goes away tonight at midnight. So in the event that I hope you never have to use this in an emergency situation, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this too because it is that perfect mix and that perfect weight and portability that we love on this one. Take a listen to Miss Stephanie and come right back. I'm Stephanie Summers with Furman Generators. This 3200 dual fuel generator is so great for all of your camping needs. You can power up your entire RV by plugging into this 30 amp uh, RV plug outlet, or you can run multiple items. I've got our lights ready to go. I've got a fan over here, multiple fans. You can also add in the grill here. If you don't wanna power up on your entire RV, you can hook into a power strip and run multiple items. I'm gonna have this selected to propane, pull out my choke, and then just with the start of a button, I'm gonna fire up the Furman Dual Fuel 3200. And we have our multiple items running on the Furman Dual Fuel. Uh, if you're running multiple items, a great feature on the Dual Fuel 3200 is gonna be your eco mode. It's a black switch under your power button here adjust to the load of what you're running. So if you're running multiple items and maybe you're running some smaller items as opposed to your full RV, the Furman will sound a little quieter in turn. It has some sound dampening with the closed frame generator and that eco mode is gonna keep you running with a lot less noise. If you are traveling to the RV park, this is super easy to travel with. The size of the Furman 3200 is really easy to fit in the back of the trunk, the back of your truck bed and store when you're around the campground. It's on wheels and has an easy handle to pull out here. You're moving this around to different locations. Super easy to store and move around while running multiple items. The Furman Generator 3200 Dual Fuel is perfect for all of your camping needs. And, and that's the thing, because, you know, unlike your electric generators that have to be powered up after you deplete the battery, you know, it's just like, you know, uh, the batteries that you use to charge your cell phones, you got to power that up again. With this, you never have to keep powering it up as long as you got a propane tank and as long as you got less than two gallons of fuel, right, Jason? So you can use this over and over and over again. And I think that's a that's a really big differentiator with this one. 
Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, we, we've been talking about running this on propane. I've connected our propane tank. Uh, this is the, the propane regulator that comes with this Furman inverter generator. Uh, what's neat about this regulator is that it actually has a valve in it. So if you're running on propane and maybe you forget to turn the propane off when you're done running the generator, uh, it, the generator is going to close that valve and separate the propane tank from the, from, it, from the inverter generator. But it's really, really simple. Just screws onto your propane tank. It's, if you can connect a, a propane tank to a barbecue, you can connect a propane tank to a, a generator, or maybe even easier because it's just all right here on the front of the inverter generator. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look at that propane runtime because, like I said, I have like three or four propane tanks in my yard right now. You know, I, I store them outside, yeah. obviously. Um, but I've got those available. Most people do. And look at some of these runtimes and some of these scenarios. I mean, that's pretty impressive. We're saying 14 to 15 hours on one 20 pound tank. Yeah, I'm embarrassed to say that I admit that I've got seven of those propane tanks. <laughs> uh, I've got a, a few, a few, a few He's grills. Prepared. but. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but as you can see, the you know we can run on uh, for 14 hours. We could run a refrigerator and charge our mobile devices, um, or you know, all the way to running a refrigerator and an air conditioner and a microwave and a television and so you know four or you know four yeah. or five uh, light bulbs around. and keep, yeah. <laughs> keep, you know this, this is a lot of power in a very compact package. Uh, you know, so I know it, 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 it looks simple and easy to use, and it sure is, but it's also really powerful. Right. Uh, you know, so I think that's running why. Running on gas, you know, we're. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. Go sorry, ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, sure. Running, running on gas. Um, we're, we're getting really awesome run times too, running on gas. So nine hours if we're just running a refrigerator or uh, mobile devices, but we can also run a refrigerator and an air conditioner or a refrigerator and a, and a, a space heater. Uh, or a bunch of those things all at once, you know, so, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it, you know, what's really great about a generator is that, you know, let's say we're running all those things and we can, we run them for, you know, eight or nine hours and uh, all that we have to do if we, if we run out of fuel is come out and switch the propane tank or just, you know, refill the gas tank and we can do that really quickly within, you know, 30 seconds we can, you know, refill our gas or, or switch out our propane That's tank. Right. And then we're back in business for right. another nine hours. That's yep. right. So, re yeah, re really, really simple to keep you going even through those lengthy, what well, can be sometimes lengthy power outages. You know, and, I, and we they have so certainly many friends feel that way. Uh, of Furman who, a lot of friends of Furman who live down in Texas who were out of power for weeks last year. And, you know, mm. those that generators, boy, it, it made their lives a, a lot easier. Oh, and, and you're, you're, you're picking up uh, one of the number one most trusted brands. You're picking up a brand that is known for its customer service, customer satisfaction with less than half percent uh, return rate. Uh, this is a big deal. Uh, you're getting something that a brand that's always on the top favorites list. They are known as one of the gold standard mm -hmm. brands when it comes to generators. So jump on in today. It's a one day only price. Remember, I have never presented a today's special here where we started the day with about a thousand unless it's like a, a, a rare gemstone from J. King or something like that. So we've got 914 for the day. That is all we have left. You can get this sent out to you free shipping and handling. This is a 90 pound dual fuel generator. Free shipping and handling is a big deal for a 90 pound item, uh, $199.99. We will send it out to you for that first credit card payment. That is less than $7 a day for the next five months. And you own this thing. If you want to use 18 months of VIP financing, uh, we do ask you to use your HSN credit card or your QVC card or Zulily card. If you don't have one, we, you can still qualify for one tonight uh, because now you can spread it out into a year and a half. 18 months and all you're paying a month is $55.55. That's less than $2 a day for the next 18 months. So it's really doable when you break it down like that. And by the way, if you don't have an HSN credit card, we're happy to help you get one. It's a no annual fee card and now you can qualify for VIP financing. If you get approved, take another $10 off as a thank you from HSN um, uh, for becoming a new card member. So ask about that card or visit hsn.com for more options and more information. By the way, if you want that 25 uh, foot 10 gauge power cord, 
very limited. I started the day with 250. This allows you about 200 left. This allows you to run your generator safely, uh, at least 25 feet away from your home. But also, uh, in each one of those heads, I was, I've was i never seen anything like this, Jason. I mean, I'm sorry, I might sound, you know, silly here. <laughs> I said, what is this okay. thing? Why does it have three heads? And he was like, well, Leslie, each one has a circuit breaker. So now one thing goes out, you have a short, uh, it, the other things don't sh turn off, right, Jason? That's exactly right, yeah. So let's say you had your generator running outside and you had a power outage situation and in one of those connectors, you've got plugged in your refrigerator, keeping your food from spoiling. And another one, maybe you've got a space heater plugged in. And the other one, maybe you've got a power strip and you're charging all your mobile devices. Well, if in the middle of the night, unbeknownst to you, that space heater pops that circuit breaker, those other things stay on. So your refrigerator stays on. You know, wake up in the morning, so your good. food's not spoiled. Uh, you know, so really Smart. is a wonderful way to bring power in. And because it's a really heavy duty 10 gauge cord, uh, you're bringing in the most amount of power for each one of those outlets that you possibly can. So, wow. 15 amp power on each of those uh, each of those outlets uh, really is the safest way to uh, to to be able to deliver power right where you need it uh, using your Furman generator. And so we've got that available, but those are also very limited. I only have 200, I only started with 250. Uh, Kevin, you said 200 now left for the day. So just think about that. Keep that in the back of your mind because if you don't have anything similar to that, uh, definitely pick one up and it's also made by Furman. Uh, if you want the cover, uh, the cover is gonna be your way to keep it nice and safe and nice and protected for you to take it with you because it is so portable. Fewer than 300 of that cover available. Remember you will get your generator you're going to get the oil included and after 100 hours you'll have to put more in they even send you the funnel the toolkit the battery <laughs> maintenance charger and i said jason what is that for and he was like les well let's say if you're not using your generator because this is electric start you gotta every now and then make sure you start that battery right so that it's working uh beautifully yeah, so the, the generator, because it's electric start, it has a battery built right into it. Uh, and so in the same way that your car has a battery in it, well, if you store the generator away in your garage or your shed and you're not using it for, let's say, six months or longer, uh, it's possible that battery could die from just not being charged. When mm -hmm. the generator's running, it's also charging that battery. But because we, we want to protect the battery and make sure that the generator is ready to go whenever you need it, we've included a, a battery maintenance battery maintainer. Smart. So it plugs right into the front control panel. So really simple. Again, all the controls, all the outlets that you need on the generator are all right here on this front control panel. And so you plug that in here. You're going to plug that battery maintainer into an extension cord or into a household outlet. And that's going to keep that battery that's inside the generator charged. So the next time you need your generator, you pull it out. You hit that start button and it's gonna start right up. So you're getting that included. You're even getting the 12 volt charging cables because now obviously you could be charging, you know, jump starting your motorcycle or your truck or your car, right? With your generator, you're gonna get those uh, cables included too, Jason. That's right, yeah. So these are the 12 volt charging cables. They plug again into the front uh, panel of the generator and they've got a red side and a black side. So if you ever were out camping or something, or maybe you just, you know, get up in the morning and you've got a dead battery on your car, you can actually start your generator, connect these, these clamps to the battery, and you're gonna be able to charge your car battery or charge the battery in a motorcycle or in a boat or in an RV. Uh, you know, so anything that uses a 12 volt battery, uh, you can charge it using your, your Furman generator. Okay, so, so remember this is a one day only value. If you went to the firm and the only place you can get this model, this dual fuel generator from Furman is on their website or here at HSN. We've never done this before for one day only and while supplies last and we are very limited, you guys. We only have 10 minutes left in this presentation. Um, for one day only, we're $300 off their price and $200 off our HSN price. Remember, five flex pay means you're paying less than $7 a day for the next five months and you own this. I've spent $7 a day on coffee. Like it's silly, now I feel ashamed of it. But think about that because this is real deal in an emergency situation or for fun, or maybe a little bit of extra power and juice for your outdoor parties, you are covered. So a lot of people jumping in tonight. Uh, we also have 18 months of VIP financing. So you're only paying $55 and 55 cents tonight. If you wanna use your HSN credit card, that's less than $2 a day for a year and a half. And as long as it's paid off on time in a year and a half, that's as good as cash. 
So interest-free payments, 18 months to pay it off. Dual fuel, you've got that versatility. You've got that wiggle room. You run out of the, uh, the two gallons or the 1.8 gallons of gas, or you can't get gas, You chances are you've got the propane tanks and you've been storing them at home and those are safe to store. Those don't expire, right? They, they burn cleaner. So, you know, you can safely store those at home. And we've got Stephanie here. And, and Jason, maybe you can walk us through, but she's kind of given us the tour there. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, Stephanie's pointing out all the controls that are right there on the on the front of the, the inverter generator. Got some outlets, those 120 volt outlets are right there. Those are your standard households uh, type of outlets. Um, she's uh, pointed out the the starting method with the, the red buttons over there on the in the center of the generator. Something we didn't talk about, she's plugging an out, a, a cord in there, but just to, to the just immediately to the left of those outlets is a digital multimeter that measures volts, hertz, and hours of runtime. So you know exactly how many hours you put on that generator. Uh, really, just an amazing amount of uh, controls and and information at your fingertips. And and again, all within this you know insulated enclosed package. So it's running really fuel efficient. It's very very quiet. Uh, it's, you're not getting any oil or grease or anything on you. It's really a, an easy, easy way to address a problem that so many of us have these days. And with power outages, you know, for, caused by storms or from uh, fires out in the West, you know, they're, oh they're gosh, turning I off know. the power and, and pl planned power outages on the West Coast. Uh, yeah, I think this is, nobody's really been unaffected by power outages here in the last few years. And, and, and so, you know, being prepared and uh, is is really just a wonderful thing to you know a little some peace of mind and being prepared and and being able to have a generator to get you through those power outages is really great. It's the only time this year where we will have a today's special on this Furman generator. We will not be doing this again for the rest of the year. This is 810060. We only got about eight minutes left in this presentation. We are just about to dip below 800 for the. You said below 900, below 900 for the day. Okay, so if you want this, I do understand it's a considered purchase, but because we're doing the flex pay, that's only $200 today. We're gonna send it out to you for free. That's another $67 in savings. Uh, free shipping and handling on a 90 pound generator, which by the way, you won't struggle to move around because it's got the wheels and it's got the little pull handle like your favorite suitcase. Remember, we also have VIP financing. And on VIP financing, we have them in store and ready to ship. We will ship it out to you for the first $55.55. And that's on your HSN card, Q card, or Zulily card. Free shipping and handling for $55 and change tonight. We send this out to you. 810060 is your item number. Only time this year. It is a big launch. We've never done anything like this before. And this one's only available here and on the Furman website. So if you want it. Please jump in, because you've seen the news, and you know it's happening. And it's not a matter of, will this happen to us? It's a matter of, you know, when is this going to happen to us? Because it's happening to everybody, whether you live in a new home, or whether you live in an area that's maybe never flooded before. All of a sudden, we're seeing these crazy storms that we've never experienced before. And we thought this was the perfect time of year, because there's still a little bit of summer left. A lot of people still enjoying the season. A lot of people still going out and camping and tail, you know, and um, RVing and and just enjoying the outdoors, but heading into winter storm season, winter storms are the number one cause of power outages in the winter now. So now you're prepared, you're ahead of the game. Get this home tonight, it's new, it's exclusive, 810-060 is your item number. I wanna show you Stephanie Summers again. Uh, she is one of our brand experts. She's gonna give you that quick little tour before we wrap this up, but if you want one, I would not wait till the morning because we started with a thousand for the day. That never happened. So please consider it today. We're gonna help you get it home, free shipping and handling. Here's Stephanie. I'm Stephanie Summers with Furman Generators. What I love about the Furman Dual Fuel 3200 generator is the ease of use. You can fire up the Furman with just the push of a button. It runs on both gas and propane. Your gas is nine hours of runtime. Your propane, you're looking at 14 hours of runtime. But you can fire this up in just the push of a button. I love the way and how easy it is to start this. You can start it with your pull start, which is your recoil, or like I said, this electric start button. We're using propane, so we're just gonna make sure the selector is on propane gas. We're gonna make sure our choke is out. I'm gonna select this battery recharge button for three seconds. One, two, three. Hit my electric start button. Push in my choke. And the Furman is fired up. We're gonna use our extension cord to plug in our light to show you how easy it is to power this up. And you're gonna plug into your 120 volt outlet, your 120 volt amp. Just like that, I have power. It's so easy, just the start of a button.
button, you can fire it up and then just plug in. It's just like your wall outlets at home right here. And instantly we have power, pretty cool. Furman has taken a few extra steps of safety. If you do forget to turn off your propane tank, sometimes that happens, Furman has built in an automatic safety switch to the regulator here. So if you forget to turn that off, Furman is taking care of that for you. It's automatically gonna shut that off for you. It is simple to use. It's what I really love about the side panel here is every button is labeled. So if you kind of forget your steps, maybe you put it away and haven't used it in a while and uh, just kind of need a refresh, everything you see here is gonna be labeled to exactly what it is. They've pretty much plastered a map on the Furman Dual Fuel 3200 for you. They've made it so simple, both visually with text, waterproof instructions to walk you through the process. Very easy. And I want to remind you never, ever, ever to be run indoors. And it's funny because I thought that if I placed it in my garage and I cracked the garage door open, that that would be enough. And Jason's like, no, never, not in the garage, not with the door cracked open, not in the basement. Um, always to be run outdoors at least 20 to 25 feet away. So think about that. It has to be ventilated. Uh, I hope you run this safely. Please read your consumer and your instruction manual. It is very important to us here at HSN to keep you safe. $200 is what you're gonna pay tonight. It's free shipping and handling. We've got them right now and ready to go. But I don't know how long throughout the day these will last because Jason, it's everywhere. We're seeing everybody in these situations. And I'm telling you, when that power goes out and you've got your firm in, just make sure you've got those propane tanks at home. That's all. I've got three or four of them right now at home. That does not go <laughs> bad like the gas does. It does not expire. So you can keep those safely. And as long as you've got those, 14 to 15 hours uh, of runtime on each 20 pound tank. So think about that. And then you know what, if there is no gas at the gas station, cause they've run out or they have no electricity, you're only required to use uh, less than two pounds of gas or sorry, less than two gallons of gas, right Jason? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you're gonna get nine hours of runtime on just 1.8 gallons of gas uh, or 14 hours of runtime on a 20 pound propane cylinder. You know, we've talked a lot uh, tonight about uh, all the reasons that you would want to use a, a, a generator in a power outage. Uh, but on a positive note, there's so many other reasons that people use our portable generators, especially the inverters, because they are so portable. It'll fit it easily in the trunk of a car. Uh, and if you're running it on propane, it's not going to smell like gas at all. Any, and so you won't be afraid to put it in your car. Uh, it'll fit under the bed cover in a truck. And we hear from so many customers all these fun things that they're doing with their generators. Uh, we believe that every generator tells a story. It's one of our mottos. And we hear from people that are using it for camping and tailgating, but lighting up outdoor areas so that they can play games and things with their families in the backyard at night, or even people that take them to the park. We had one customer that said they took it to the park and they used lights and they're lighting up a park so their kids could play at night. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so uh, there's so many <clears throat> wonderful reasons to use a generator, certainly for power outages, but also for tons of fun. Right, tons of fun. By the way, productivity as well. If you're a contractor, if you're an outdoorsman, sure. if you love to hunt, if you love to camp, tailgating right around the corner. I'm so excited for football season to start. <laughs> Remember, dual fuel. We've never done this before. So yes, it runs on gas. And yes, it runs on propane. I hope you try it out completely portable with that little pull handle and also the little wheels. Free shipping and handling and a one day only price. If you want it today, it's our best value of the day and I want you to get it home before winter comes. I want you to get it home before they're sold out on the websites or at the home stores. I want you to get it home right now so you're not just using it for emergencies, but you're using it to enjoy the very last bits of summer. This is 810060. And I know, Jason, that you couldn't. Jason hurt his leg, as you can see, and he can't put any weight on it. So he was <laughs> ordered by the doctor to stay there. Um, we couldn't go outside because it's ridiculously hot and also sprinkling out there so um we really hope you you try this out and read up on this brand because they are always known as one of the uh, gold standard brands jason it's been lovely talking to you thank you so much for your wealth of thank information you. i really appreciate it it's been my pleasure thank you so much
Your favorite hosts are celebrating big anniversaries this August on HSN. Join the party as Michelle Yarn and Debbie Denman mark five years hosting. Looking good, Debbie. Of course I am, girl. Adam Freeman hits his 15th anniversary. Cheers. Plus, it's the big 3-0 for Lynn Murphy. Whoa! <laughs> Hi! Tune in all month long for special programming. And don't miss a show celebrating Debbie Denman Wednesday on HSN. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person.